everyone, welcome to my week 9 pregnancy vlog. I can't believe I'm 9 weeks already. It seems like it's just flying by, but I have a 3 year old and a 1 year old to take care of, so I guess it is going to go by a lot quicker than my first two did. So this week was pretty uneventful as far as um, my pregnancy symptoms go. I have been extremely hungry and I have been eating a lot this week, which I'm not happy about. and. Um, plan on stopping <laughs> very soon. You know, I, I don't need to be eating so much. Not stop eating, but just stop overeating. Um, I'm just snacking nonstop at nighttime. Um, I'll eat, I try not to eat, you know, past a certain amount of time, like at nighttime. And um, I won't be able to sleep and at midnight I'll be starving and I'll come down and have a bowl of cereal and then, you know, have some cottage cheese and have chips and it's just ridiculous so I really need to stop that but um, so I'm sure that I've gained weight um, of course times when I know that I'm gaining weight I stay away from the scale so I have not um, weighed myself and I plan on um, I weigh myself when I turn 10 weeks and uh, that gives me enough time to get back on track so hopefully I'll be the same at 10 weeks as I was at 8 weeks and I won't really have anything to worry about because if I step on the scale, the scale and it's more I'll just have anxiety about it and what I tend to do is when I've gained weight I feel sorry for myself so I eat more just because I feel helpless like well I might as well eat I'm already fat so if I just stay away from it then I'll just kind of trick myself and hopefully I'll be back down to my um, regular weight. So hopefully at 10 weeks I'll have still gained nothing. Um, I have been craving fruit like crazy. I mean like just watery, juicy fruit just sounds so good to me. My husband did buy a bunch of it um, fresh and I even bought cans and I don't usually eat canned fruit but I just have been craving it so much and I can't keep it in the house so I put some cans in the cupboard and me and the boys are just going through that like crazy so I mean I guess that's a good thing but oh, I'm so hungry for fruit um, food aversions I, mean, I still have no morning sickness which I'm nine weeks so it's quite apparent that I'm not going to have it with this pregnancy I didn't with my first two either so I know I'm very very blessed and very thankful for that um, but I noticed this week, I didn't really notice it until after I had done it a couple of times, but I made stuffed shells and I was eating them and I was picking the meat out of the stuffed shells and I didn't even realize it until after I had done it. But then I was eating this Tuscan soup that I make and I put chicken in it and I was picking the chicken out of it and my husband was like, what are you doing? Why are you picking meat out of that? And, you know, that's the good stuff. And I was like you know what, I've been doing this for the last couple of days. I just kind of, I'm not feeling meat lately. So um, that's one thing that's a little bit different. And um, I love that soup and I, just, I ate it once and I'm just not really hungry for it now. Um, certain things like really appeal to me and I'm starving for it. But other things that I usually like, just kind of, they don't make me like sick or nauseous, but I just kind of think, mm, no, it doesn't sound very good to me. So... Um, I have been really tired this week again. You know, last week I was feeling great, had a lot of energy, and this week I'm, you know, tired and I am having some issues with constipation, which I'm a little bit upset about because I did go gluten free, but I really think that that has to do with my diet because I'm eating more. You know, the more you eat, the more output you should have, and, um, you know, your body, progesterone naturally slows down your body anyway, so it makes it more likely that you will. Um, you know, get constipated. So that's another thing to motivate me to um, diet better. And you know, when you're um, when the food is is staying in your digestive tract for so long, it's having so many nutrients absorbed from that. So you you have a tendency to gain more weight too. And I don't want to gain unneeded weight either. So it's another reason that I want to stop. So hopefully, I'll have a better um, update as far as diet and weight and stuff go. Um, at my 10 weeks, but um, I think that's really it. I mean, our the, the boys were sick this week. They had, um, the flu's been going around here crazy, but they um, didn't have the flu, but they had like colds, um, sinusy, you know, nose and a cough, and they had fevers for a couple of days. So we kind of just stayed home Sunday. I didn't take them to church and um, 
I just went by myself, but then I heard so many kids that were there were sick. I mean, one little girl had MRSA, and I was upset that, you know, they were had like at church and they were sick like that. So then when Wednesday came around, the boys were both better, but Ryder was sleeping a lot. He usually only takes one nap a day, and he was actually down for his second nap at um, 6 o'clock, and we usually have six, church at 6.30 on Wednesday nights. So I just ended up staying home because I had nursery that night anyways, and I was just going to sit in the nursery with my own kids anyways. So we just stayed home, which is not like us at all, but um, everybody's feeling better now. My husband got it, and he's over it. I didn't get it, thankfully, um, but I felt bad for my husband because, you know, men, they tend to be a little bit um, babyish when it comes to, you know, sickness and stuff. But that's why us women have to have the babies because they can't handle the inner pain like that. So... Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, my sister found out she is having a boy. She has a girl, and um, she's 15 months old, and the little boy is now, well, he'll be born when she's, when the little girl's about 19 months, so um, that's really cool. I'm excited for her, and I have two boys, and we really think that I'm having a girl this time, too, so I mean, we've been calling it the whole time so far. I said, you're having a boy, and she said, you're having a girl. And, you know, we were 50% of the way right, so we'll see what we're having. But I think that's it. I don't want to keep you really long. I mean, it was just kind of short and sweet, so that's it. I'll show you a little belly shot, and then I will see you um, at 10 weeks. I'm probably going to do my vlog a little bit later because on 10 weeks I'm going to do the um, Intelligender. So it might be a couple days later, but this one's a couple days later too because I just haven't been feeling that great. I kind of had a rough weekend, so... But I'll fill you guys all in on what has happened during my 10th week. I don't want to talk about it yet in this vlog. So I'll fill you all in next week. So that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. So here is my little 10-week uh, belly. It doesn't look like it's changed much in the last couple of weeks. But there's definitely something there. I had somebody at church notice that I had a little pooch there. And I just said that it's food baby. It's not baby baby yet. So... But yeah, there's something definitely there. So, all right, bye guys.